Hi, in this video we are going to look into CodeMate which is an open source and super useful Visual Studio extension for code cleanup and simplifying our actions on a file. Let me go to the home page of the CodeMate. So if you can see this can be useful for various languages like C Sharp, C++, F Sharp, VB, PHP or and PowerShell scripting also and you can see this can be used for HTML, CSS, JavaScript and TypeScript file as well. And one more thing is the code made can be uh, like we can use code made in various versions of Visual Studio starting from 2005 to 2022. Okay, now we can switch to the Visual Studio to see the code made in action. We can install code made in two ways. The first option is using the extension method and second option is using the direct URL. So first I will show how to install it using the extension menu. So you can go to extension. So you can see the code made here because I have already installed it. So you need to go to manage extension and search for code made. So you will find this option and you can use the download button next to the code made. So once you download it, you can install it. And another option is you need to go to the browser. I will share this URL with you. So you can use this URL. So if you are using Visual Studio 2022, you can use this URL and download the same. So after installing, you need to restart your Visual Studio to make this change be reflected on your environment. After the successful installation, you will be able to see the code made under the extension menu. In older versions like 2015 or 2017 of Visual Studio, you will be seeing the separate menu after extension. Now uh, for users who are using 2019 or 2022, they will be seeing this menu under extension. Okay, so now let's see like what are the options available and what we can do with them. Let's take this. There are some unused namespaces like system and then Microsoft entity dot metadata and the namespace is also not in proper order like um, they are in some random manner and some empty spaces and some new lines and all there. So it will take some time to clean up right. So what we can do is simply we can right click code made clean up active document. So now you can see the unused namespaces are removed and then the empty lines are resolved and also the empty spaces also got removed. We can also rearrange this like you can right click code made reorganize active document. So you can see now right the names is also sorted properly. We can do the same this is the CS file like a C sharp file. We can do the same in the SCSS or TypeScript file as well. So let us move to this TypeScript file. So in this file also I am using uh, you can see right some empty spaces are there and also some empty lines are there. So we can do the same here like right click clean up active document. So in a single click we are able to do everything. But one problem is in the TypeScript file it won't remove the unused imports. It will work only for C sharp files for now. And same applies to SCSS file as well. So there are a lot of uh, white spaces here. So I'm just cleaning up. So the empty lines are all clean. We have looked at the cleaning part. Now we can look at the rearranging part. Uh, let's say, let's consider one of the model file. Okay, this is the model I have. So while creating the model, uh, I will be keep on adding new variables at bottom. It gets like it will be difficult to find some of the property like that. So we can rearrange it in alphabetic order if needed. So let's see the A application code is here. So what I can do is I can select this. So now we are able to achieve this like you can see now right everything are alphabetically sorted. This is one way of achieving the rearranging type and then the next thing we can look at is find in solution explorer. So now I am in this file but it will be difficult to search this file or I need to type it externally here. So instead of that what I can do is I can right click find in solution explorer. So this file gets opened. This will be applicable for all the formats. 
we can easily navigate to the file which we needed. Performing right click code made and doing a cleanup on every file is a feasible option but it will take a long time if we are having a, a huge project or a lot of files. So another way of cleaning up let's consider this file. It contains three unnecessary imports and this contains some unnecessary imports as well. So let's take these three files alone for now. So what we can do is we can go to extension code made clean up open code so it will just clean up the files which we are open and clean up all code will clean up the entire solution it will take some time so for time being we try to clean up the open code alone you can see in the background for this base response for crud cs file and this file some imports has been removed it taking five files because we have opened five files here so now we can see the unnecessary imports are removed so we can save them to make sure all the changes are reflected And one more option we can do is automatic cleanup on save which is currently off we can enable it so now I am turning it on now we can see it is on now let's take this file I am creating some empty lines and some empty spaces as well so if I save this file you can see right the empty spaces and all removed and the file is actually cleaned up so this is the way of making auto cleanup enable but I recommend to keep it off because uh, in some of the systems where the configurations are low it might hang your system if you have a good configuration you can turn it on and work and then there's an another option called join so let's say these lines I need as a single line okay so what I can do is I can simply copy this code mate join lines so the entire path is covered as a single line so this will be helpful in if conditions or some of the logics which we written which contains only one lines in CSS files also it applies the same like uh, let's consider this class this media file uh, media query we can take so here I am applying the same sorry code made join lines so this will be helpful in cases where we need to join the files and if you click on auto cleanup it will sometimes format like this to get more useful information like this subscribe to our techsr channel and share it with your developer friends as well thanks for watching